Clear, Pro. It's a flight crew to engage. Oh, for me, Oscar rolling too far. Kilo would play you go by taxi to the hold of room with two four. So it was absolutely right, we were in fact blowing engine coolant uh, due to a faulty expansion cap onto the prop. Uh, car traffic, car, car, car for me, Oscar is departing to the north, changing on route. I love this landscape. I mean, it's not looking its absolute best today, really, autumn or winter make it look even nicer, but they're also colder yeah. and shorter days. So this is the southern tip of Lake Windermere. How are you doing temperature-wise? Alright. How lucky are we to do this? Yeah. Alright, well this is what it's all about. This is the bit that... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> It's not gin clear perfect, but it'll do. Yeah. We're looking right the way at Windermere. It's 10 miles. Okay. So this is Newby Bridge down the bottom. And then quite a long way up, you've got Bowness, so you can see Bow Isle, which is, it looks like it fills the entire lake at the moment. It doesn't, but it looks that way. Okay. And around the lake, there's a, do there's a slight dog road to the left, there is Amberside. Ah, uh, okay. You can see the Langdale Pikes over there. If you know what you're looking for, wherever the ones we climbed up, you can see like, a, it looks craggy, and then there's like a little pointy, piggy bit. Well, we'll get a lot closer to those later. It's about half past ten. Maybe I can see what you're looking for, but I don't really, I don't really know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go on to one twenty-one five, which is the emergency frequency, just in case. And I'm going to dial up, um, there is no frequency for the next airfield, so I'll dial up safety comp, which is like a generic one. That's, that's a, got a lot better visibility wise. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's a cab okay day. Yeah. yeah. How, how, I can't remember how many times you've been up here. At least up, up here, as in to the lakes? Yeah. 
Uh, we, went, we went a couple of October half hours in the river, didn't we? Yeah, Ellsworth away, which we'll do, yeah. do coming back. We were, we were in Ambleside once, I think. Um, uh, Mum and I were, were you there? Can't remember. There was a, like, crack cottage or something. Uh, uh, that was the one at Glen Ridding, which is Ellswater. I actually see that later. Like a garden with really steep slopes. Yeah, that was Crab Cottage, you're right. That was just that was Glen Ridding. And there was one which is white by Ellsworth, which is different, I think. No, honestly, that was the same one. I'll show you pics on it later. So, what you've got, this is Belle Isle, the big one in the middle. Uh-huh. And then you've got Bonass right down by the shore, and then Windermere, the town of Windermere behind. So, this is southern Lakeland. Very expensive properties, these uh, border the lake. Yeah. I feel such a privilege to be back doing this, though, when uh, so many people, as the, the, the skydiving guy said, you know, they can't. Cameras are all working. Huh. A little Dynon D3 instrument that I bought recently. It's actually got what they call synthetic vision. It tells me, it actually has pics of where the hills are. In case you ended up in the murk and you weren't sure where the high ground was, it shows you. It's very good. It does that all over the world. Unfortunately, tourists are still not welcome in the lake, so really, they don't want you turning up. So it's really quiet down here. These will be just the locals, yeah. second homeowners. Yeah. It, would, it would be teeming otherwise. Beautiful. This is Bella, the big one, but then yeah, all these little ones. Yeah, I know one over there as well. Just perfectly round. So England's biggest lake, and it's not really that big, is it? No, uh, really, biggest lake. Yeah. Not the deepest. The deepest is obviously Wasswater, but it's the longest. This is much bigger, it's 40 miles long, I think. This is 10. What I'm planning on doing is we're going to climb up there. We'll, we'll climb up the, the gentle ridge and then we'll fly along the top. We'll get views of dome water. Okay. And then we'll come back later on this way through. Um, Water and then water. So where's the space that we're going? Is it actually in the lakes? Yeah, it's uh, just to the east of Keswick. I mean, it's a, it, it's somewhere to, to stop, you know. It's it's yeah. not it, not as scenic as this. Yeah. Somewhere to stop and get a drink and have lunch and, and get fuel. This is it's not the destination. You know, we're here yeah, for the journey. Yeah, I know. I'm just wondering where it is that we're going. It's yeah. northeast. When we, when we climb higher up, you'll see Blancastra and Skidor. Skidor is at the head of Keswick, uh, and the head of Dover, so just behind Keswick. And then it's just to the east, to the right of that. So, Tarn House is over here somewhere, to the left. down there. Oh, 
longest times when I've been up here. It's been quite bumpy at this point because the the uh, fells channel the wind down, but it, this is perfect. Yeah. I'm really happy. This is perfect conditions. Steamers, oh they're not steamers now, one of the big the boats board up, they go all the way. So they stop at Bonas and then down to Newby Bridge. Well we're heading over towards the Longdale Valleys now, so great and little. Where well, we've stayed. Oh that's the other place we stayed. You came up in October half term and we stayed at um, Little Langdale. Yeah, I think I'm remembering that one. That was lovely. It rained most of the time but we had one clear day. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, and we've also stayed more recently when we went up the Langdale Pikes. Where were we staying then? The, the one here is where we went to the Three Shires Inn, the pub, most nights. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. There was one recently when I was in, like, Upper Sink. Yeah, there. there was, and that's where we went up. The Langdale Pikes is directly in front of us now, and we climbed up them, if you remember. Yeah. We stayed up that plane, the uh, Three Yeah, that's right, yeah, the Tucano. Now, this is the, the path pass up towards Thirlmere. But it's a bit dull going that way and also the RAF like to fly down it quite low. So although to be fair they like to fly down all of this quite low so let's keep a, a look out. So I think down here this is Elta Water, I think. Water which is sticking out there, and this is Grasmere. Uh huh. Just beyond the hill there. Say again? Just, just beyond the hill. Yeah, the first one was Rival, and this one is Grasmere. Okay. This is Elta Water. And then you've got the Langdale Valleys here, and I always get them muddled up. I think the one we're looking at is Little, and that one is Great, but it might be the other way around. And the Langdale Pikes are right at the head. That was that. So this is all world world country. We, we did a walk when we were in this place, over here and into Grasmere, went to the pub if you remember. So 
second. Pretty clear now. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with this. So no skid all right at the northern tip. Not the best name, is it? <laughs> well, Blancaster is to the right, which is one of my favourites. It's a climb, it's beautiful. See it on the way back. We're not. I mean, I can go. Not that one. Uh, I don't okay. think. I don't think we actually saw it. Okay. Nobody out walking. Well, only the locals can. Yeah. I mean, it's thing you can, but they're really discouraging. Oh, Andrew was saying to me that yeah, he really wants to get up here, but he just thinks he needs to leave it another couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're, we're not landing in the, uh, in the in the national bar, we're just flying through it. So. Yeah. We're looking right over towards Boston Freight Lake over there. That's at the very north. Uh huh. Beyond that, Scotland. That's, yeah, you can yeah. just see the yeah, yeah. one sticking up. So it's that's how you're standing then when the Jacano came past. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it was a scramble to get to the top, but yeah. then, yeah. That's it. That bit. They've all got Pike a sticker and Pike a... So I, I, I can't name them, I need a map in order to be able to name them. But there's some walkers down there. C4 here. Yeah, yeah, I see him. We're at the back of them there then. That alert sound, you could just hear that sky demon giving me a terrain warning. You okay? Yeah. I'm trying to cautiously take some photos, but holding onto my phone very carefully. Yeah, please do. It might get a little bit of a bump here as you go because different air. We might not. Passing over the Glendale Pikes with Mickledon below and Pike of Stickle to the right. This is just an amazing day, honestly. It doesn't get any better weather-wise. I've gone over that before and it's really got quite shaky. Yeah. Like an elephant. Happy? Yeah, is it possible to do a 180 or is that for uh, photo purposes? But don't worry if not. Uh, wanted to get uh, the left out bike in, but. That's going to work, unfortunately. Don't no worry.
skid off right at the uh, head of Durham Water. Place in England. Why is this place in England? Yeah, you can see how green it is. Yeah. Not, not, not today. Well, it, it, I mean, it, it is still green, and there hasn't been much um, rain, has it? So. There's a slate mine over there. Uh, you see it just like in a little dip that goes up. Yeah. So this is uh, Durham Water and you've got Cat Bells, which is the hill to the uh, on the western shore it's uh, sort of the, the fell to take your kids up on their first walk it's easy and which you one sorry cat bell you see there's a path on the left hand side of the lake these yeah, hills. Yeah. it's like a humpback yeah and you see it climbed there's a you see the path climbing up to the peak normally on day out today there'd be loads of people on the top yeah but it, it you get a lot of bang for your buck it's not high but you can look at the view all around you yeah We've got multiple warnings of um, hang gliding or whatever, so we're going to give Keswick itself, the ridges of Skiddor, a wide berth. We'll go over and we'll do cat bells, then we'll come across Durham Water and head over because our landing site is over there. Okay, is that Keswick, that little town by the lake Yes, there? that is Keswick. I like Keswick, it's got a, a wilder feel and it's more sort of walker climber place than um, the likes of Bonas. Uh, there's a Christian conference there, the Keswick community. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have thought it would be a bigger place, but it doesn't no. look especially big. It's not big. This view here it always makes me sort of think of like a Lord of the Rings, like Lake Old Hobbit. It's like Lake Town. And it's just perfectly situated in the, you know, in the shadows of Skiddor and then right on the lake. So this is Skiddor and then Blancastra is along to the east. Looks very similar. Skiddor is an extinct volcano. And then you've got Bass and Thwaite, which is beyond. That's Bowdale, that's Castle Crag. Maybe 
before my test. I was training up a couple of barrages up there. Uh, so I'd done all the hours I needed and I was cleared to go solo so Chris let me do a flight on my own from Kirkbride over here round the back of Skiddle, Ben Catherine and back. Yeah. I wasn't actually qualified but I was legal to go because I'd been cleared to solo and it was, it was just fantastic. Yeah. There are people on top of uh, Cat Bells. Yeah. People could look out, they could be hand gliders and oh, they've got a nice view, but there again we've got an even nicer one. Yeah. Didn't have to put in any of the effort to get up there, so <laughs> coming off um, Skiddle and they can't come this far. Uh -huh. So giving it a wide berth. to run to uh, okay. the airport. Uh, I can see some hang gliders over there. Can you see them? Uh, yeah, I can see it. I can see one. Yeah, I can see a second. There's a canopy that's just turned. So they're off Blank Hathra. Not actually no jumper. Uh, yeah, they're a couple of parachutes. Yeah. Yeah. Hang yeah. gliders. Two over there as well. Smaller one down. Yeah, the two down and the two there. Yeah. Uh, three up there. That's why we're giving it a wide berth. Yeah. Because they they need to stay closer because they get their lift from um, the wind blowing up up the mountain, our graphic lift, but also the thermals because it's darker there, so they'll get more. It'll be absorbing more of the sun's rays. Okay, travel back is at 980 feet. There might well be powered power 
parachutes, they don't seem to be descending. Oh, I think they are. But there are two more over there, I can see four in total. White and yellows, and yeah. then there's a red, and then like a green, I'm just there's, keeping There's on. one on their own as well, a bit further along the mountain. Quite a lot further along. Okay, thank you. Classic traffic, Golf Uniform India Romeo Oscar is a gyrocopter inbound five miles to the southwest will join down the left hand of my right. Travel back, Kesek. Right, I've got to find it first, it won't be obvious. Is over there, so we're going to go that way back. Okay, cool. Of course, down there. Where are you looking? Oh, yeah. it's a bit um, barren, it's not, it's not very, uh, not quite as bright green. So, um, there are far fewer contrails in the sky. Yeah. Right, I can see it. I can see the airfield. Can you see the road here? Uh, yeah. I think it's the A66, that. And then, just behind it, there are a few little, couple of little houses, and then there's some trees behind that. Yeah. Well, it's just this side of the trees. Uh, okay. down there, isn't it? Yeah, looks like um, it's a bit wider than it needs to be. I don't know, what is it? Is it an old farmer's bridge or something? It's very yeah. grand, isn't it? For, yeah. uh, it must be an old railway line. Look, you can see that. Yeah. Wow, what a place to have an airfield. I can't see any obvious runway looking things, I have to say. The source of sea. a little bit bumpy. Yeah. Roller coaster. Oh, it looks pretty good though. Happy with that. It's trying to see where the threshold is. Not entirely. Oh, I can see it there. What a place. Can't see a wind sock. So I'm going to have to assume the wind remains southerly. See you in 
sensor there. Right in the center. It's showing slightly westerly. I'm still going to use 1A. Kazakh traffic, driver got to Gulf, Uniform India Rover, Oscar is joining down in left hand, uh, runway 18. Kazakh, Kazakh. Okay. Positioning for left base, one by two zero, travel Kazakh. So I've seen from the windsock that there was a greater westerly component to the wind than I've been expecting, so I've switched from runway 18 to runway 20. Kazakh traffic off of Oscar's final 2 0 travel Kazakh. Deliberately trying to land late. Looks like it cuts through a fence. Uh. Watching me and you would be. See the westerly wind component on my yellow balance strip. Okay, so we're just going to wait here for the um, rotors to spin down, okay? Okay.